Okay, guys, so <clears throat> I guess we're going to get back on track here with everything that we've been um, doing this year in school. And I went ahead and sent you an assignment in your Google Classroom. And I'm going to make a video here kind of showing you how to do it. Okay, so this is the table that I sent you. It's pretty simple, guys. Um, what you're going to do is download that and have that open. And remember, you can drag your windows to the side if you want. And go ahead and open another window so you can have split view. <clears throat> okay, so once you have your um, Google open, what you're going to do is go here to the uh, Google Apps. And you're going to go to Sheets. All right, so let me just go ahead and go over this real quick. Here's your classroom. Here's your drive. Right here you can upload files. This is kind of like your uh, Microsoft OneDrive. This is the Google Drive. All right, you've got Docs, which is just like um, Microsoft Office uh, Word. You've got Sheets, which is just like Microsoft Excel. And you've got Slides, which, which is just like um, PowerPoint. All right, you've also got your sites. This is, um, we're going to um, probably use this as well. This is to make a little website. It's very, very useful. You've got other stuff too, YouTube and all that, but these are the main things that we're going to be using for the remainder of the year. All right, I'm only going to be assigning one assignment a um, week. I think that's fair right now. And so what you're going to do is just go ahead and go to a new blank document. All right. And we're going to go ahead and title this right here at the top. We're going to title this Texas Voting oops, Statistics. All right, and now is a good time to go ahead and let's do our split screen. And so we've got up here Texas voting. All right, we've got our title there. All right, so what you can do, uh, let's go ahead and leave that blank for the meantime. But later on, we're going to probably want to merge that and center it. This is to merge. All right, um, below that, we've got the Democrat 2016. So let's go ahead and see where we can, where we have wrap text which would be wrap text in Word. We want to make that same thing, but here in um, Google Sheets. So let's see here. Let me see if I type in the cell. It's going to drag on, but we want it to all go into one. Um, we want the text to wrap. So to do that, we're going to go ahead and click on our cell. And we're going to click on right here. Where is it? I just saw it. Wrap text, text wrapping, all right? And we wanted to go ahead and wrap to, um, overflow, all right? So let's go ahead and go back to our table. And we're going to go ahead and go to, let's see if this works. Demo crap 2016. Let's see what happens if I press enter. No, all right. Let's try it. Let's try this longer one. Right over here. Projected change in share of eligible voters, comma, 2016, 2020. All right, so we're going to come up here to our wrap text. And 
and let's go ahead and go with that one right there. There we go. So we want to go to wrap text and then click on this one right here, okay? And we can go ahead and go highlight all of those and go ahead and put them all like that. That should work. All right, so let me go ahead and do the rest here. Republican, comma, 2016. And we've got here I don't know why that one didn't go, but share of all voters, comma, 2016. Okay, <clears throat> now we're going to put our, what we've got here. And now that uh, we're going to go ahead and expand this by clicking and dragging. All right, so now it's getting here to even up with the end of the title. So we're going to go ahead and let's bring it over a little bit more right there so it's even and we're going to go ahead and merge this and we're going to bold it let's go ahead and bold it to bold it we're going to go to bold and we're going to center it so to center it we're going to go right here and here all right and we need a little more space there we go. So we've got our there, just so it looks all the same. All right, let's continue. This is also blue. So we're going to change the color right here to a red cap blue. And I think it's bold. OK, that looks better. You know what? That's too blue. That's not red cap blue. We want like something like that. All right, that looks a little better. So now we've got white non-college and we've got white college. All right, and you're going to go ahead and fill in all these um, Let's see here, 21%, which is shift and the number five. Okay, we're also going to highlight all this. You can do it in one shot and center it. So we're going to go here and center everything. All right, so when you type in the 37%, it should be centered. Yes, now we're going to add in our column colors. So we highlight our column and come here to the bucket. All right. And we're going to highlight the first one. It's kind of like a dark gray. All right. And these ones are highlighted in like a light gray. Hopefully yours will look better than mine. All right. So we're going to do that and continue doing that. And once you're done with that, guys, I'm not sure if uh, it being, I've never been on the opposite side of Google Classroom, so I'm not sure if you share it. If you do, you just go ahead and share it with me to my email address, which is rene.vilarreal at smisd.us, or just submit it and I'll get it on my end in the Google Classroom. Okay, so hopefully this helps, guys. This is, this is your assignment. Pretty straightforward. I hope you guys are doing well and staying safe and just staying home. That's all we can really do right now. So just stay home, keep yourself busy, and um, that's all we can do, guys. So I hope to hear from you soon and see your assignments and see you all soon. So take care, guys. Bye-bye.